we are now ready to use uh, arc to solve our problem, which is that we uh, you know this uh, ref cell wrapped in a, in an RC in a reference counter is not safe to go into these threads. Uh, so uh, let's let's bring it into scope, and of course we're not going to use a ref cell either. Um, so standard cell, so they're inside a place called sync. They're both in the same spot, so we can uh, bring them in like that. So uh, they are ready to go. Uh, fortunately, uh, they are basically, you know, the important methods for uh, reference counter and uh, arc are, are the same. So, uh, you know, if you know one, you basically know how to use another. You have, um, you have new, you have, you know, strong count, which, uh, you know, where you have like um, two, uh, two pointers to, uh, to the same value. And if the two objects are pointing to each other, then they, they will never end. But, uh, you know, we haven't uh, done anything weird like that. But uh, this, uh, this strong count is what we've used to look at the number of owners. And that's the same. You've got try unwrap, you know, it's, um, so that's, that's good to know. So anyway, that, uh, that means that all you have to do here is, uh, is that, you know, arc new, arc new instead of RC new, uh, instead of uh, mutex new, instead of ref cell new, we change it to mutex new, and because uh, mutex uses a different method, uh, we need to change this. And what it does is it locks access, and it's um, it's a result. It might work, it might not, depending on if somebody's using it. So you have to unwrap and then uh, use the star to get at the value. And that is uh, actually all we needed to do. Uh, so uh, the, the number is now, we do that and uh, we're printing a mutex, so uh, debug print, and then we'll print my number. And it should be 110, and there you go. So mutex data 110, and you can see we can make you know 100 threads, start at zero, and this should be a thousand, and it will be a thousand, and you can see you're, you're guaranteed that no, uh, that no funny business is happening. There you go. So uh, now it's mutex data 1000 and uh, nothing weird is happening with threads accessing data at the same time and getting things wrong. And uh, also don't forget uh, our friend uh, read write lock because read write lock is also send and sync. So just like a mutex, so you can put that in there. And instead of lock, we give uh, write access and uh, and it's not mutex. Where are you? There you are. Read write lock. So this will do. This will be just as safe. Um, and uh, it'll it'll give us you know the numbers we're looking looking for. Number one thousand. So that is uh, that's good to know. And um, one other thing we can do, just for fun, is uh, you remember the. Uh, the strong count so we can uh, number of owners we can watch this change uh, and so you know this um, this method is called a strong count and you know it's an associated method because that's the way they work and you send in a, uh, a reference to this so number of owners there and then let's say um, let's put it right here so also a number of owners here, and then uh, we'll watch what happens to uh, to my number as uh, as all these uh, all these clones uh, to the pointer are being created. Oh wait, let's go back down to ten. That's uh, that's a lot of threads. Okay, so we're starting at zero, and we've got uh, ten threads, and you can see it's kind of um, some of the threads are finishing up as uh, as you're. As they're cloning, so this one, um, you know, one, two, two. So it's kind of um, they're doing things at the same time. Sometimes they're cloning and adding an owner, and sometimes they're finishing up and then and then dropping the number. So this is actually going to be uh, different every time, which is uh, pretty interesting to watch. And uh, so that is uh, that's what that looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, usually it's. Uh, Usually it clones before before the threads finish, but sometimes they're uh, they're a little bit faster. So that is uh, how that works. And sometimes um, 
people don't like the uh, you know this looks kind of ugly to uh, you know all this all this code looks kind of I don't know if you are using rust for you know just a few weeks and and you think it looks funny you can always you know do things like this uh, bring spawn into scope and then you can do like uh, maybe a function like give arc and then you have a you know input is going to be this and it's going to return an, an arc mutex i32 actually we're using read write lock so we'll, we'll be nice to read write lock and give it attention uh, so you do that and then you just return a uh, arc new read write lock new and inside goes the input and now we can say my number is uh, give arc um, what was it zero so that should be the same so you know there are these uh, these these uh, these methods you can use well not not methods but these uh, these tricks you can do to make your your code look a little bit neater uh, if you if you don't like the look of this and you can also do type uh, I don't know super arc super arc equals uh, arc w lock i32 and you can do that and then you can return you know use a type alias and you know now you can just kind of ignore that stuff on the top and now your code is maybe looking a little bit nicer to you if you prefer you know something that looks better something that looks like this without all the all the colons but uh Anyway, uh, that's a little bit besides the point. Uh, now we know how to use an arc and uh, our threads and uh, the things inside them are safe.